Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Waves from SlideNerd here. In this video, let's take a look at an example of method overloading and try to understand things in a better way. So I'm using NetBeans over here. What I have is a class called main Java. It has a main method inside, which has nothing right now. There's another class called Maths here. Now inside this, I'm gonna write a method that's gonna find the maximum of two integers. So if you guys remember, the name of the method is gonna be max. It's gonna find the maximum of two integers, let's say int x and int y. So we are gonna test if x is bigger than y. So we're gonna say if something x is greater than y, then something should happen. Otherwise, something else should happen. So I'm gonna say int max equals to zero over here. This variable is gonna contain the bigger number. So if x is greater than y, then the bigger number is x, right? Otherwise, the bigger number is y. And I'm gonna simply return that here at the bottom by saying return max. And since I'm returning stuff here, the return type of this method is gonna be an integer. And of course, I need to put a semicolon and complete this stuff. And then I'm also gonna make this public. It's not necessary, but I'm just doing that for now. So this would find the maximum of two integers. Now let's try to execute this method and test if it works. I'm gonna say maths over here. M or math or whatever you can call it by saying math math is new maths to create the object in Java I'll have to specify the class name the name of the variable over here which is maths and then the new class name or constructor name so that is done so then I can say maths max of say 5 comma 7 now we can directly print this out or we can store this inside some number and simply print that number out so let's run this by saying shift f6 just to test if things work and as you guys notice it says 7 over here at this point so now what I also want to do is find the maximum of two double numbers so what I'm gonna do here is make another method max we can actually copy paste this because we don't have to make any changes I'll say control C to copy this and I'll paste it right there using a control V over here on Windows and then I'm gonna put the number as double over here but before we do that take a careful look at this point we get an error it says method max int comma int is already defined so you cannot have another method max which looks the same now let's make a small change here let's just put void over here for now and try to remove the return statement at the bottom and see what happens it still gives you an error saying method max is already defined the reason is this return type void or this return type integer alone is not enough to overload your method there should be something different over here and that is what does the actual work of overloading so here I'll remove this void and go back to where we were I'll say double over here and I'll simply make this integer also as double X and double Y so at this point I can go down here and I can simply say return max just like we had previously right above over here and let's just make this as double max over here and that is pretty much everything so at this point if we say 5 comma 7 and let me also put a system dot out dot println statement so that you guys know exactly which method gets called over here so I'm gonna so just to make you guys understand stuff better inside the int max method I have a system dot out dot println which says integer version is called and the same way inside the double one I have something which says double version called so now let's run this now if, if you go above here by saying 5 comma 7 if I run this by saying shift f6 as you guys notice it says integer version gets called now let's put 5.0 here and put 7.0 over here saying control s at this point there's an error because we are trying to store the result inside an integer number so let me make this double over here and that should be pretty much it so shift f6 to run this this time 5.0 7.0 is gonna call this one which is double x comma double y and that hence it says double version called here at the top right now let's test a little bit more let's make it 5 comma 7.0 now notice 5 is an integer 7.0 is a double the bigger number is double so it will call the bigger one even over here you want to see that Control s shift f6 and now it says double version called just like I said because 7.0 cannot be converted to an integer y without losing data but on the other hand 5 can be converted to 5.0 that is double x without any modifications right because that is automatic type conversion in java 
and hence this method gets called. Now let's talk about the ambiguous overloading case which I was discussing earlier. Here let's make this double x int y and here let's make this int x double y all right now let's not worry so much about the code here let's just remove everything from inside now notice carefully what I have here is double x int y and int x double y so when I say 5 comma 7.0 so it's gonna call this one which is int x double y you wanna see that control s shift f6 it says double version is called now again if you say 5.0 comma 7 over here then it's gonna call the first one which is the integer version but now take a good look when you say 5.0 comma 7.0 there is an error because at this point it says no suitable method found because it is not sure whether it is it should be uh, going down if you got 5 comma 7 over here again there is an error because here again it's not sure whether it should make this 5 as double and call this one or it should make the 7 as double and call this one so this is the case of ambiguous overloading and how can we fix this very simple make another method over here which is public void max just like before and instead have int x and int y this time and then as you guys notice there the error disappears because this time this method will take care of all the work and that would be the integer version purely so this is the case of ambiguous overloading and hopefully you guys have understood everything about method overloading in this video. In the next video, we'll further continue our discussion about object oriented Java. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment on this video and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.